Ladies and gentlemen, every time there is some important exploration in space, television makes it possible for us to watch it at home. But see what would have happened if the world had had television during the first great exploration in 1492. Well, good evening, television viewers, and a hearty buenos dias to you all. This is Francisco Ancelara speaking to you from Seville, part of our continuing coverage of the greatest event of the 15th century, the voyage of Christopher Columbus. This is Mission Control. Here, as you can see, we have the most modern equipment known to mankind. You're looking mighty good, Pinda. You too, Nina and Santa Maria. This is the computer operator. That's the latest model, the Mark I. And this is the man in charge of communications. <laughs> and finally, this is where they generate all the power for mission control. <laughs> well, it's been two and a half months since that momentous day that Captain Columbus set sail from Palos. If you missed it, we have a videotape replay of that famous launch and countdown. We'd like to show it to you right now. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> well, that's the way the launch looked two and a half months ago. Since then, all of mankind has been waiting for some word from the daring captain. His critics say he is doomed. For a report, we switch you to Pedro Taco in Lisbon. With me, I have the most vocal critic of the Columbus theory, the eminent Portuguese navigator and explorer, Vasco da Gaia. Senor da Gaia, si. what do you think of the Columbus theory that the world is round? Preposterous. The world is flat. Every schoolchild knows that. Then what do you think is going to happen to Columbus? Well, isn't it obvious? He will sail along the ocean till he comes to the edge and then... <laughs> goodbye, Columbus. Do you really think that will happen? Mark my words. He will come to the edge and then... <laughs> goodbye, Columbus. Not so much for the proponents of the flat world theory. And we... Just a minute, I'm picking up a TV transmission from one of the ships. We'll see if we can get it for you. I believe that's from the camera on the poop deck of the command ship, the Santa Maria. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Christopher Columbus himself. Oh, oh Captain. <laughs> Captain. Captain, please. Hey, Giuseppe! I'll have this fish fried. <laughs> And don't forget the chips. Columbus. Oh, Captain Columbus. Yes? This is the Castilian Broadcasting Corporation. Oh, I didn't notice the light was on in the poop deck camera. <laughs> Hello, Spain. Saludos, amigos. Oh, Captain, Captain, will you tell us, how is the voyage progressing? Well, all systems are gone. We did have uh, one malfunction of the lights which resulted in a power failure. What do you mean? Uh, my candle blew out, so I lit it again. <laughs> and you're still convinced the Earth is round? Ah, of course the Earth is round. Well, you realize, of course, that all the leading scientists have just issued a statement. Oh? They say Christopher Columbus is mad. Mad, eh? <laughs> they said Marco Polo was mad. They said Vasco da Gama was mad. They said Salvatore Bacigalupi was mad. <laughs> Salvatore Bacigalupi? What did he discover? Nothing. He was mad. <laughs> well, if your name was Salvatore Bacigalupi, wouldn't you be mad, too? <laughs> he wasn't even Italian. <laughs> he had this Chinese restaurant. Well, well, Captain, an Irish name. Captain, what? <laughs> what makes you so positive that the Earth is round? What makes them so positive that it's flat? Did you ever see the globes that they used to teach the kids geography? Look at this thing. Does this make sense to you? Isn't that ridiculous? I was wiped out when I first saw it. No wonder the kids are revolting. No wonder. Yeah. Well, Captain, any messages for the folks back at home? Tell my beloved wife that I'm thinking of her, thinking of her all the time, and I count the days till I return. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> report from Genoa that our correspondent, Manuel de Harga, is ready with an interview with the mother of Christopher Columbus. 
This is the humble Columbus home in downtown Genoa. <laughs> in the Italian district. <laughs> and just a moment, here she comes now, his mother, Mrs. Columbus. Mrs. Columbus, how do you feel about Christopher's voyage? How should a mother feel? She's been gone two and a half months and not a wife. Well, after all, it's impossible for him to write a letter to you. A postcard would kill him. <laughs> this is Manuel de Harga in general. A mother's heart is breaking. What does he care? In the old days, children were children. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we... just a moment, a late bulletin. Well, there's been a sudden development in Madrid. Let's go to mission control. Hello, hello, can you read me, Santa Maria? Uh, what's all the excitement about, controller? We're trying to contact the command ship. Apparently, they've sighted something. This is mission control, Madrid. Come in, Santa Maria. This is Santa Maria. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear. We just sent it to land birds. Did you say land birds? Right. And I picked up one of them, too. Excuse me, this is Seville. Are you sure they're land birds? What does this look like, an albatross? <laughs> hey, Giuseppe, I'll have the southern fries. <laughs> That's a nice. And don't forget the coleslaw. <laughs> Captain Columbus? Yeah. If that's a chicken joke, shame on you. This is 1492. It's the first one. <laughs> well, that's an interesting development. Does the sighting of land birds change the opinions of the critics of this voyage? Over to Lisbon. He will sail along till he comes to the edge and then... <laughs> Goodbye, Columbus! <laughs> The people most interested in this voyage are the king and queen of Spain, Ferdinand and Isabella. It is common knowledge that Queen Isabella financed this voyage of Columbus against Ferdinand's wishes. For an on-the-spot interview with our remote camera, we take you to the court of Spain. I beg your pardon, your majesty. Yes? talking to me. Oh, Yes, young man. Is it true that you have pawned the crown jewels and all your wealth to pay for the voyage of Captain Columbus? That is true. Well, Your Majesty. Yes. yes. <laughs> to me. Yeah, yeah. Go on, young man. You mean you've sold everything you own? Everything she owns. Everything I own, too. My rings, my gold chain, even my crown. But you're wearing your crown. Well, not this one, this one. This is pure gold. This one's made of brass. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, back at Mission Control, there's been another sudden development, and this may be it. Captain Columbus has just requested that all channels be cleared for a very important announcement. All right, Santa Maria, this is Mission Control. All channels are clear. What is your message? Land! Please fight it, land! Roger. Can you point your portable TV camera toward the shoreline and pick it up? I'll try. There we are. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great moments in history. America has been discovered. I'll see if I can pick up Captain Columbus for a special interview. Oh, Captain. <laughs> yes? This is certainly one of the great moments in history. Do you have any memorable statement you will make when you first set foot? Well, I thought I'd say, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Uh, <laughs> you think that's pretty good? It's a hell of a lot better than <clears throat> goodbye Columbus. <laughs> Well, Captain, I guess now you've got everything. A few small ships. I'm satisfied. Well, what do, you, what do you think your voyage has accomplished? I have discovered a new world free of all the hatreds of the old world. And I will build a new society here based on peace and brotherhood. Well, where's the first place you're going? Well, I may be wrong, but I think it's Havana. <laughs> well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Discovery of America by Christopher Columbus, 1492. This is Francisco Ancelada wishing you all buenos dias. And remember, if you drink, don't ride a horse.
When I see by the clock on the wall That it's time to bid you One and all Goodbye Goodbye So long So long Farewell Farewell Adieu Adieu Be good Stay well Bye bye Keep warm Relax And eat Take care Stay loose Adieu mon vieux A la prochaine Goodbye till when we meet